God, I love it when uh, EVGA sends me cool stuff. This is awesome. This is the coolest stuff you see. This is a uh, case in point for the wind. This is the 780i Enforce chipset from EVGA. It's, it's the new for the wind edition in their series of, of products. These are for gamers or for enthusiasts. Now, it's your, it's your traditional 780i motherboard, but it's got special features. Now, a lot of people don't know what those features are, and I get questions about it all the time. When's it gonna come out, and what does it do? What's the difference? So I'll tell you, let's go into that. Let me talk to you about what's for the win. Who's gonna win? This board is not for losers. If you're running your factory clock, you're not gonna be overclocking, you're gonna be running one video card, this is way too much board for you, you don't need it. Let's talk about what comes on this board. The first thing that you're gonna notice when you when you when you get one of these boards, the for the win goes from a six phase power on the 780i to an eight phase power on the for the win. So more phases, each phase is gonna run cooler. You're gonna get more stability when you're overclocking, when you're at those high frequencies, you're gonna get better voltage regulation. Uh, that that's what you're looking for when you're getting the eight phase power, especially important on your quad cores. The dual cores are a little less important, but you still want it. It's gonna let you get to that bleeding edge better. Uh, you also get solid state capacitors. They're the conductive polymer, they're not the electrolytic ones, they're made in Japan, that's fantastic. You know, if you've ever been to Japan or you've seen any of those movies, you know that those people work their butts off. They are there to win it, they're there for perfection, and that's what they do. These are not gonna blow up on you, they're not gonna leak, and they're gonna stay stable at extreme overclocks. Now, what else do you get? V-droop control. Now. V droop. What is that? That's just silly. It sounds silly. What is it? Well, I'll tell you what. The first thing it is is it's bad. It's bad for overclockers. It's bad for enthusiasts. It's it's something you don't want. V droop is something that uh, you know motherboard and processor creators did to save cost. Uh, they pretty much, it, it drops the voltage to keep the current regular, to keep the current at, uh, at a flat level when you go from idle to load on your processor. So V droop, uh, if you're overclocked, you need that voltage. And if you drop voltage, it droops okay, you're gonna crash, it's gonna happen. So if you have a big overclock, you can't do that. So what does this board do in the BIOS? You have control for V-droop, you can eliminate it. You can make yourself, make sure you're gonna run a stable V-core all the way through from idle to full load uh, without dropping. That'll keep you more stable, you're gonna eliminate crashes, you're gonna be able to get a higher overclock, everything's gonna go faster. So that's very important, very cool uh, from EVGA to provide that to you guys with the For The Win Edition motherboard. Uh, now, let's talk about what else you get. You get ferrite core chokes. Usually they use iron core chokes. Now, what is a core choke? Have you ever seen the cables, like uh, let's say a power cable and has that like square, uh, round or square thing at the end, that's a core choke. What that does is it eliminates electromagnetic interference, it eliminates radio frequency uh, interference. So that's gonna help you get uh, better, a more stable overclock in the end. What else do you get on here? Uh, you have a very stable, uh, very easy, very familiar, reliable, convenient BIOS. It's great for overclocking. You get really precise uh, V-Core and V-DIM. You get everything set up real easy, uh, specifically made for the overclocks. What else do you get? On the 780i, you only have 800 megahertz memory support. This goes up to 1066, and if you use SLI Ready EPP RAM, it'll actually go to 1200 megahertz. Now, if you overclock, you can get above that, but this is native support 1066. Uh, 1200 with the SLI EPP memory. Uh, you also get very nice, you get onboard power reset and clear CMOS buttons. So when you mess up or you're benching it before you put it in the case, you have those buttons there. You don't have to hook up your little pins from the case and drag the case over and try to stretch them out. It's a big pain in the butt. You get to skip that whole thing all together. It also tells you your postcodes. So rather than having to listen to the beep, going onto Google, finding out what each code is, you actually get to see it. It'll say 01, memory, boom. You know one of your memories is defective. You can switch them, figure out which one it is, move on. Also on this board, not only with the 780i for the win, but also with the regular 780i, you do get the Enthusiast System Architecture, ESA. That lets you control all your fans, it lets you control uh, your, your, your temperatures, it lets you monitor everything, and then overclock it, all from inside the operating system, all unified. Now you have to use ESA certified components, so your video card, your CPU cooler, they all have to be certified, but once you do have all that stuff, you get to look at it all from one place, one program. So you don't have to have CPU-Z and GPU-Z and all these other programs running, you just leave them right there and it tells you everything about your system, a full summary, it's great. So let's go over some of the specs and uh, some of the stuff that you get on this board. Let's take a look right here. Let me see if I can pull this little sucker off. There it goes. That is your uh, LGA socket 775 uh, right there. So that's native 1333 megahertz front side bus support. So you will be able to put your 45NM, your Wolfdales, uh, your Yorkfield cores, they're all gonna work on there. They're gonna work great, they're gonna run cool. And you can overclock that beyond 1333 to 1600 and above. Uh, right over here to the right, uh, you have eight gigabytes of DDR2. So you have four DIMMs up to eight gigs. Again, 1066 or 1200 if you're using SLI ready EPP RAM. If you look over here, we have an IDE header. 
So, you know, if you have any legacy drives that you want to tack on there, that'll let you do that. And over here on the side as well, you have your floppy disk drive header. Some people might say that's pointless, but again, you will use it from time to time. Now, uh, let's go over some of the slots down here in the bottom. This is where it gets crazy. Triple PCI Express 2.0 slots. Yes, woohoo! That's gonna do everything. That's triple video cards. So you can run triple SLI video cards from GeForce. Uh, on top of that, you have two PCI slots and a PCI one speed slot. Uh, so very nice, lots of good stuff. Let's go over some of the side panel stuff here. If you take a look at the side panel, we'll start up here. It kind of almost goes from like oldest to newest, but PS2s. So if you're still using a PS2 mouse and keyboard, that will be there for your legacy stuff. You got Firewire over here. Very nice feature. A lot of people that edit videos and have external hardware are going to use it. And if that's not enough and you need more in the box, you get another one. A little bracket hooks up to the internal header and you get one of those. All right, let's move on along down the line. Uh, coming over here, PCI, uh, sorry, USB 2.0. You got six of those in total with these over here. And again, if six is not enough for you, here's an additional four. That's 10 in total, 10. I, that's like a hub. You don't need any more than that. If you need more than 10 USBs, you have too much USB. Back off on the USB, you need to relax. Also in the box, a little serial adapter. I don't know, no, not, not too many people are probably gonna use that. But uh, let's, let's keep moving on the line. You do have your SP diff. Uh, right here, so one cable solution for surround sound. You onboard 7.1 channel audio, so that's eight channels, including your subwoofer, 7.1 in total. Dual gigabit LAN, so one's not enough, you gotta have two, and then the extra uh, USB 2.0s over there. All right, and then also included in this fan, very cool. Included in the box, this little Northbridge CPU cooler. So you can, if you're gonna overclock, you definitely wanna stick that on there, it's gonna help cool everything. If you see, everything is connected. So your Southbridge, your Northbridge, your MOSFETs are all cooled by the same cooling system. So this is a nice little accessory. Keep in mind, if you get rid of this, you're not gonna be able to grate your cheese on this anymore for your pasta, but it doesn't matter. It's still great, it keeps everything cool and it'll keep your overclocks stable so that your Northbridge doesn't crash. You know, you, you want your CPU to be the one that's going too far, not your, you know, your stuff on your boards. Let's go over some of the other stuff that comes in the box on this thing. A whole host of SATA cables, okay? Fantastic. Uh, you know, you never need, you never know how many you need. Let's see how many are here. There's like eight, eight in total. That's fantastic, that's crazy. Uh, floppy and IDEs, uh, whatever, don't use them. Uh, Molex. You do need these. If you have an old, you might have a big power supply. You don't want to buy a new one, but you need SATA connectors or you need more SATA connectors. This will convert your four pin Molex to your SATAs and you get two of each. On each Molex, you get two SATAs and there's three of them in the box. So that's two, four, six SATA connections from three peripherals, which you're not going to use. Everyone has like six of them. You use one for your optical drive, one for your other optical drive. That's it. You know, you usually have a bunch left over. What else? SLI bridge, very necessary. One of the big points is you get SLI, multiple video cards. And if you're truly a bad, I can't say it, but <laughs> if you're a bad guy, you need this one. This is the big boy one, triple SLI. So if you're running 9800 GTXs, you're running 280s, 260s, you can use this to link three cards for the ultimate. This is top, top, top notch stuff right here. Also included in the box, a very nice little uh, input output panel. Also, if you notice on the back, I like this. It's got like a little pad there. So that's gonna stop the vibration. That's one of the little keys that you get, little tiny things that you can do here and there to mod your case to make it run quieter, make the fence, you know, everything just gets better. So, and then it's also very nicely labeled, uh, nice and pretty. So if you have a nice case, it's definitely gonna look great on there. It's not just the little stamped uh, chrome ones that are kind of ugly. This one's really nice looking. All right, guys, so if you're an enthusiast, if you're an overclocker, if you're considering the 780i, take a look at the For The Win. It's gonna let you do a little more overclocking, better hardware on the board, very interesting. If you have any questions, go ahead and hit me up at my email address. I'll see you guys next time. For more information on the EVGA N4780i SLI For The Win motherboard, go to compusa.com and type in E145-2040 into the search box, or you can call us 24 hours a day, seven days a week at 1-800-COMPUSA.